Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Hello, everyone. Um, our news today is um, nothing will stop us from electing you as president. Come 2023, Nigerians tell Peter Obi. Nigerians on social media has vowed to elect the former Anambra state governor, Peter Obi asked the next president of Nigeria after President Muhammad Buhari comes in 2023. The statement came on the heels of Peter Obi's comment on deplorable states of Nigerians' health system. Mr. Obi was featured at the Arise TV program on the topic of COVID-19. Any valuable alternative solution compared the 10 years of Nigerian's health sector budget to that of South Africa 2019 health budget. He said, what Nigeria of 20 million people, biggest economy in Africa, spend budget in 10 years between 2019 and 20, from between 2009 and 2019, is 2.73 trillion, equivalent of $9 billion. is just about 50% of what South Africa, second biggest economy in Africa, of 55 million people, spent in 2019, one year alone, of $17.1 billion. Obi stated, it's time to tell ourselves the truth that Nigeria's poor health system is affecting the lives of her citizens. He urged Nigerians to bridge up over 2019. At the end of this pandemic, people will die, and those who survive it shall learn their lesson, will be stated, told Arise TV. In 2019, Obi was picked as the running mate of the People Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate with Halaji Atiku Abubakar, which the party lost to the ruling or progressive Congress APC. He has been someone who is always gives clear analysis and complete data when it comes to the state of the nation. In this interview, he puts solution on the Nigerian health system. But the problem is, Mr. Obi is from the southeast part of the country, and the north has insisted on pronouncing the next president after President Muhammad Buhari. Mr. Obi is one person who is determined, who is focused and ready for Nigeria to move to the next level. But with the north allow, with the east having their issues, with the north allow that will be a man who has in mind for Nigeria to move forward. Will they allow him? Will they allow him is the question on everyone's lips. My people, you've heard it all. Peter Obi has said what Nigeria is spending on health system is showing in the economy. That's why the health system, it, it is what it is. That if we have set, sat up and make sure that our health system come alive, we will see a better health system than what we are seeing today. And it compared us to even South Africa. I tell you sincerely, after this, hmm, Nigerians have learned their lesson. You see, nobody can run abroad anymore, especially with this COVID-19. Hmm. The way you lay your bed is the way you lie on it. I'm telling you, you know, man used to think that uh, they are smarter and more clever than God the one who made heaven and earth. That's not true. Hmm. That's not true at all. So whatever a man soweth, he will reap, is what the Bible says, the holy book. So whatever a man soweth, that man will reap it. So if you know that you're supposed to put a hospital in order and you did not, hmm, guess what? When the crisis of hospital comes, you see now, some of them that uh, the wife of the president said, 
They were supposed to use the money for the hospital and refuse. Where are they today? They've gone beyond. Because the same hospital, the same capacity of hospital, treated the British Prime Minister. We all heard it, that Boris Johnson, the British Prime Minister, was, was not feeling too well. He, in fact, he was positive for coronavirus. He was self-isolating, still working, still keeping the state, still keeping the, 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 the country informed on what the government was doing on COVID-19. He did not stop working. He continued and he was keeping the people informed every day on what the government was doing. Until the team broke him down. Yes, guess what? He, was, he, did, he didn't fly him to America or Canada or Australia or whichever European country. It was in the same UK there, the United Kingdom, that he went to the NHS. It's called, you know, their, their health care system is called NHS. He went there to the NHS and he was treated well. He's not a young person. No? Uh -huh. He's not a young person. He was treated got well and is back now. He's back now working again. You see all this in the news. You hear what is going on. So, you know our government, they always think that uh, they will run abroad. They will leave the, the local people. They will leave poor fellow Nigerians, poor Nigerians, to manage their health, to do whatever they like. <laughs> run abroad, now, now. Run abroad. You know, it's when the chips are down, that's when you know truly. I know by the time COVID-19 is over, ah, any governor or any state who does not put their health system in order, they are just deceiving themselves. They are really deceiving themselves, you know. So, my people, that's the matter. That's what we are talking about today. That's what we are talking about today. The, in, the, in, the, 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 the unseriousness of Nigerian government not taking what is serious, serious over the people, taking Nigerians with levity. The same people you, you came into office on the power, on the back of promises. They believed you. They trusted you and they said, you know what, this is the man for us. They went on election, voted you. And today you have come out, either the governor, senator, whatever position, president you find yourself. Yet, you've abandoned them to their feet. You will see and you reap the repercussion of every seed you are sowing. Why? Because the way you, you lay your bed is where you lie on it and you reap whatever you sow. Yeah, we all remember Peter B himself and the article came up as a, you know, you see? So that's what's happening now. After now, I hope that uh, Nigerians, not, ni not just Nigerians, so the politicians in Nigeria will take it seriously, work with their commissioner of health in every state and make sure that their state health system is okay. But I hope it will not just be one of those things that after now to sweep it under the carpet, they will go on business as usual. Because now, the whole world needs their health system. The whole world needs their facilities. Everywhere around the world, people are going to buy equipment for their state. So, when you have not bought, when you have not put things in order, you know, you will see it. Most people are regretting their vote on Buhari. But it's just, is it just Buhari the issue? When Buhari came in 2014, when the election started, Everybody thought the Savior has come. Things will be different. He came, you know, picking out the loophole of, uh, of, the, of the person of good luck, Jonathan. And everybody said, for you to pick it up, for you to see it, oh, this is true. So there is fire on the mountain. You have come to notice that uh, this fire can be put out, and this is the way to put it out. Guess what? He went there. He came in. Went, uh, to the, went abroad and told them that the uh, Nigerian youth are lazy. They don't want to work. They want to eat. The Nigerian youth are very lazy uh, because they say they are from oil. They say they want to get paid. But that was what you said in 2015, that those who are not working, you will be paid 5,000. Students will be given this and that. Can you see that Nigerian government are the most, they are the trickster and the most wicked set of people you have ever met? That is what it is. Anyway, my people, but the matter will be where they on be this. They have said they will bring Peter Obi in 2023. What is your take on this matter? What do you think? Do you think he's the right choice? Is the one to move Nigeria forward? 
Anyway, leave a comment. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. For we are here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. You have a voice. Please use it. Thank you for being here. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.